Welcome to Termite Machine Works. My name is Keith. Okay, we brought our grinder in here and I'm getting ready to dress the surface of the stone, the working surface. The face on either side of this grinder is the working face. That'll let you come in here and work and grind and you sharpen your tool bit against this face. Now your tables can till and you get all kinds of control there. But first off, before I actually show you how to work a tool bit, I'm going to show you how to dress a wheel. And uh, I'm going to use the regular protractor guide, which is, is a tool that normally sits on here, lets you set angles and kind of hold uh, a, you know, a uniformity of your grind. All right, And uh, it's a kind of a helper's aid. That's what that really is. Now, I'm going to show you a couple uh, things here. An industrial diamond uh, is a very crude diamond and it's mounted into a, a round diameter. This is a half inch shank here uh, and, and the diamond itself is what you use to dress stones such as this or like surface grinders and stuff. Here's a homemade uh, plate that sets on a surface grinder. It's either toe clamped down or, or, or drawn down with the magnetic table and the bit sits in the bore there and the thumb screw locks it in there. All right, that's just one kind of a, a grinding apparatus. Here's one that was in another box there. It has two stones in there and evidently, and I don't know who G. Parker is, but uh, uh, this was the tool that he made up and it's pretty, uh, pretty nice. You know, it was able to go with a magnetic base like that or like that and you can sharpen or dress uh, stones uh, in that fashion, okay? If this was pointing out of here, I would go ahead and I would use this block here with this to go ahead and dress this stone here. Now what I had, this was a protractor slide and this was made for another, uh, another grinder and it has a stone receiving uh, bore there and also to you, if you notice on any of these, there's a slight little angle, all right, and you you want a, a way uh, direction when you're grinding on a stone there. Uh, you'll see none of these ever point into the stone on the grinding, so you always want to grind away. If that diamond comes loose, you don't want it to roll into the stone, okay? You want it to like flake and blow away and, and not damage your stone. You know, you start, <laughs> you're, you're you're grinding stones. Some of them get pretty expensive, and uh, that's they're they're uh, they're consumable item, but they are your tool. And, and your instead of being a high-speed tool bit, it's a it's a tool that creates sharp surfaces or grinding uh, finishes onto different items, uh, whether it be a, a, a tool post grinder or a cylindrical grinder or a centerless grinder. Uh, a drill sharpener or a tool uh, carbide grinder or high speed tool bit grinder. All right, but anyway, uh, back to the guide here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tighten this in here. And I took, I took the foot off because the foot doesn't fit in here. But I'm going to use this in, in junction with this uh, guide here. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to sharpen this side of the stone. All right, we're going to get it fired up here and we got the light on here so we can see what we're doing. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down. I'm tightening this down so it's square. And I'm just, I'm, I'm going to just slide it back and forth and then I'm going to hold it together and it, with my fingers here and then I'm going to push the whole rig across the face and I'm just going to take a little bit at a time I don't have an adjustment screw that tells me how much I took
Okay, that's felt pretty smooth all the way across that base there. And we're going to go ahead and let her run all the way down. We're going to take a look at that surface there. We've tried with our guide here and coming in here. It, <clears throat> and you can still see the wheel. We did clean and dress. It is it is pretty pretty flat across there. All right, in here. But it, it's not 100% uniform and flat. And we really want to have that. Also, there's a slight valley and dish in here. So we need to continue going. Okay, this was a standard guide that fit in a ball door grinder and I remember using this back in the yard and I went ahead and I loosened up this unit right here and this is an adjustment screw right here and this gets your your diamond to go in and out uh, it was missing a little push rod in between because this has got a down angle here and then this rod here pushes so when you pull this out of here in the box this this little pin here had fallen in the box so that goes down in there then that goes in there like that and then this adjustment adjusts this in and out alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and machine the guide to match this slot because this slot also matches the other Chinese grinder we have and of course this is metric here this is like 465 we got to turn this thing down and it's an eighth of an inch of depth there so we'll take an eighth of an inch off of there the screw pattern will still fit into this and then we can use this like it originally was used uh, see now I have two of these grinders I'll be able to sharpen that green stone and sharpen this other one over here and there won't be any qualms we'll actually have full control of the way that this grinder or this diamond was supposed to be used in the first place so I'll be showing you that so let's go on into the mill and we're going to start milling this to fit this slot right there all right we went ahead and we milled this down to the thickness and width and got these uh, two countersinks all set up so that that mounts and rides in the slot uh, we went ahead and put a rod inside here uh, there, because there is an adjustment here so we can get a fine tune in here and and we can slide this and not have any in and out because we can't hold it physically uh, um, against the other guide and you know against the other unit like this all right let's give it a try and I just have this finger you know tight and this right here I'm just gonna be doing by finger Much better, more uniform. Well ventilated area because you know you don't want to be grinding or uh, catching all that dust. All right, making sure everything is snug here. It really looks like we're coming across there nice and flat. Maybe one little skim here. Back across, back across, all right I think we actually uh, we've got a clean dress on this side of the wheel here, all right that has been one heck of a long time since that wheel was t turned true and uh, we're going to do the other side now, that is just fantastic. Alright, we got this uh, set up here on this side here. We're, we're backed off. We're not, we're not anywhere near it. Okay, we're going to start creeping it in. There, we just touched it. Now this side here had a little noogie out of it. It looked like uh, somebody really caught something in there. <laughs> I say somebody, I'm the only one here.
that wheel's dressed now. All right, we brought the, the, the China Wonder here out on the uh, on the table here. We've had it sitting around waiting for uh, to get joined up with this one here. And we decided to go ahead, see now we were doing so good on uh, dressing our wheels there. We're gonna go ahead and dress this green stone. Um, but I'm gonna bring you in at another angle here so you can see this sticks out so far. This guide here is closer to the wheel than this one is to that wheel there. And uh, so we're sticking right here next to here. And we're gonna go ahead, change the angle here. Just a little bit of working room here. All right. I kind of like uh, having, I don't know. No, that one doesn't do it. This actually, uh, you know, <laughs> I can't believe that the actual, the, Ch the Chinese actually have a, a lamp that comes on whether the grinder's on or not. So you can see adjustment and stuff like that. So that, that could be a plus. All right. This is, uh, this is too long, even if we brought back this adjustment in here. So in our collection here we have another diamond and this one here is about half half that length we can go ahead and let our adjustment come in here and it looks like we're falling right in there nice you know they could have gave you at least a couple inches of of light here. <laughs> They're afraid of giving you anything. <laughs> All right. Uh, slow down 